virtualization has really started to kind of take a stronghold in, in the community today. Um, you know, first off, it was around server consolidation. Why, you know, the ability to, to reduce your footprint, to be able to reduce a number of physical servers down into a single server. Um, but it also gave me the opportunity to, to purchase and, and put newer servers on the, flo on the floor as well. And, and in some cases, they get better performance because of the newer, more robust, you know, multi-core servers now with more memory and more I.O. channels. So I think from that perspective, it was certainly um, a, cost, a cost factor, you know, IT environments needing to save costs. Uh, but they also found advantages now or, or realized advantages with virtualization beyond just that cost factor of server consolidation. And that goes to the manageability of the data center. You know, Microsoft uses the term the dynamic data center and, and truly virtualization brings those factors into, into play now where you can you know, move virtual machines between physical machines um, without losing you know, service to your customer. Uh, it gives you ability to implement things like high availability solutions, um, uh, truly provide 24 by seven uh, with very little downtime or very little maintenance windows. You can do maintenance to a physical machine in the middle of the day without having to interrupt service to your customers. So it's, it's bringing some things where you know, now the data center can react quicker to business changes and business needs, uh, where in the past when they were tied to a physical server, they weren't able to do so quite as effectively.